Peace to everybody. Uh, this story is about what Michael Jackson would have looked like today without 100 plastic surgeries. And as you can see here in the picture is Michael Jackson with one of the surgeries that he had done. Michael Joseph Jackson, famously known as the King of Pop, endures as one of the most popular musical icons in the modern world. He was also known as someone who, from the age of 21, transformed his image so drastically through plastic surgery that he eventually became unrecognizable from his natural born self. Yes, yeah, so he had a lot of surgeries done. He didn't want people to know what he would have looked like. So from the age of 21, that's when he transformed his um, image and become eventually unrecognizable from his natural born self and as you can see here in the picture i do believe this is on twitter or facebook the one of the uh, michael jackson images of what he looked like when he was young and there's the second one that he uh, the Michael Jackson and his brothers, another picture. What might his, this famous pop icon have looked like had he not undergone this radical transformation over the course of his adult life? Why not start with a rundown of the extensive facial work he's had done that led to his metamorphosis and eventual descent into identity crisis and so he really had a lot of facial uh, plastic surgery done and um they want to know what 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 if he looked like when if he had not gone un, undergone this radical transfer transformation of himself and of course um they're trying to say that he had identity crisis i really don't think he did because um Michael didn't want n nothing to look like his father at all because um, he was ashamed of what would have, what people would say. And um, so he decided that he wanted plastic surgery done. And that was a lot of surgery. He spent millions of dollars or thousands of dollars on plastic surgery. Jackson spent 30 years trying to improve his looks through plastic surgery and underwent 100 surgical procedures. So that's a lot of um, surgeries that he went through over the amount of years to, um, to get his face in any way that he wanted it. And as you can see, here is a picture of Michael Jackson carrying a suitcase. And of course, you know how... He is when he was like that. As the eighth child of the Jackson family, Michael was born on August 29, 1958 in Gary, Indiana. From 1988 until his untimely death in June 2009, Jackson resided on his California ranch dubbed Neverland after the fantasy world from the famous children's tale Peter Pan. And so, for, so he decided when, as soon as he was old enough, he decided to go live in his ranch on Never in Neverland. So that it was a real nice ranch that he lived in. So from, the, and he's also the eighth child of the Jackson family, from his brothers and sisters. By the age of eighteen, Jackson's fame had already overshadowed that of his siblings. He was nevertheless insecure about his appearance, most especially of his big nose, as J. Randy terribly explained in his biography of the pop legend titled The Magic and the Madness. So yeah, Michael Jackson was pretty, didn't want nobody to know what his nose was going to be like as he was getting older because he was a he didn't want to look like his father at all, even though he's been um, more close to his mother than he has his father. And as you can see, here is Michael Jackson 
this young and of course with the red um jacket in which I used to have it till my fake ex-husband gave it to his sister. Jackson had a rhinoplastery at age 21 after breaking his nose during a rehearsal. So he broke his nose at the age of 21 and he had to have it um, reconstructed. So this way it would be okay after there. That was the same year when he explained to 2020's Sylvia Chase his difficulties of living a normal life. It's hard to, in my position, I try to sometimes, but, pe but people won't deal with me in that way because they see me differently. They won't talk to me like they would a next door neighbor. So yeah, people... He had a difficult life when he was growing up, and um, he was afraid that people would not um, treat him like anybody else because he was had a difficult life, and um, he was afraid to living a normal life. In 1983, Michael Jackson used skin lightening makeup during the production of the one and only all-time best-selling album, Thriller, and I know that is my favorite album of all, Thriller, yes. <coughs> he had used the skin lightening makeup, so um, it would make him look a little bit lighter, but not too much light. And um, so this way he could do the um, best-selling album, Thriller. And as you can see here is Michael Jackson graduating um, for wherever he's at. Oh, he honored... Oh no, it was the honorary doctor of human humanities degree that he had. He underwent more nose, nose surgeries. He had five in all, as well as a cheek implant procedure. And in 1992, he had a prosthetic nose tip put in place. His skin started looking whiter as a result of a skin condition called vitiligo, according to Jackson. So he was starting to get this skin condition um, that is really vital to every, or vital, fatal, whatever it is, to Michael Jackson, and it was called vitiligo. And um, he also had that cheek implant to make, um, I guess to make, it, to make his cheeks look um, more, up or something but and it's really um difficult to have to for him it's a difficult life he didn't want to be michael joseph jackson he just wanted to be something else and he went about the business of doing that jackson biographer j randy tara bory told spin Diddy. so yeah he just didn't want to be like his father at all. He just wanted to live his own life the way he wanted. And um, so that's why he had all these plastic surgeries done because he was ashamed of what was going on with his facial, that he was afraid people would make fun of his nose and everything else. Here's another picture of Michael Jackson as the performs on a um, stage during the History World Tour concert. He wanted to be the king of pop. He wanted to be Captain Eel, wrote Margot Jefferson, who won the Publizer Prize for her book titled On Michael Jackson. So yeah, so he decided to become the king of pop. And that's who he is today, even in death, that he is still the king of pop because his music is selling really good was selling good but then of course the radio stations they um took all his music out because of all these ridiculous allegations that were not true i think he was obsessed with staying timeless is what i think she wrote it's as if he wanted to look like some you know being who he gone into some eternal realm of fame beyond life and death. He said that's all he wanted. It was beyond life and death. Um, he just wanted, he was obsessed staying timeless. 
As Jackson grew older, he was tormented by a mental illness, which took the form of a severe identity crisis, which went hand in hand with his lost childhood. So, yeah, so he grew mental illness um, because of everything that went on in the family. And um, so he, it took the form of his identity crisis of who he wanted to be. But instead, with all these plastic surgeries that he had done, he just lost his identity for who he is. And as you can see here, Michael Jackson went um, in the picture here. Channel 5 has used computer aging software to show how the singer might have looked without these surgeries. The image was created as part of the documentary, Ten Faces of Michael Jackson. Now, I don't even, even recall ever seeing that one because I didn't have no clue that was floating around anywhere. But now that Channel 5 had used computer aging software, they um, did what the singer might have, what it might look like today. Tracing his journey from 1977 to 2009, this is how Michael Jackson looked like after over 100 surgeries. The last picture is a digitally reconstructed deception of how he might have looked had he not had plastic surgery. The difference is staggering. And as you can see here, this is how Michael Jackson would have looked like at um, in 1991, or the picture below him. So this is all the, um, the surgeries that he had done. But of course, they used the computer-generated images of what he might have looked like, as you can see down here at the bottom right, of what he would have looked like today if he did not have all these surgeries done. And of course, Michael Jackson did lose his identity because of all these surgeries, because of the mental illness that went with it. So it went hand in hand of what has happened to him. And may he rest in peace for sure. Leave your comments below. I am out.